word problems. Talking about mixtures. Absolutely. Here we're presented with a problem where we have three jars labeled A, B, and C. They all contain hydrochloric acid solutions that are 20%, 70%, and 40% acid solutions respectively. What that means is that A is 20%, B is 70%, and C is 40%. Oh. When you're doing these mixture problems, it is absolutely crucial to do a table. Is a table necessary? No. Am I a fan of the table? No. Does it help you? Absolutely. A table is organizing your ideas. And further, a table gets you partial credit on an exam. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to go through and we want to label this table. If we can get the numbers in the table, then we can get the output out. And then hopefully it'll give us better chances in solving these types of equa- well, word problems. I'm looking at this. I'm taking a look. A is here we're filling out the parts of the chart. A gonna be 20%, 20%, sure. Um, do you want those as percentages or decimals? How do you convert percentages to decimals? You gotta move it to. Which way you move it? Two to the left, so this is point two oh. Right. It's a decimal equivalent of 20%. Um, B, they tell us that B is going to be 70%. Wow, that's very acidic. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, 70%. And C is 40%. Great. Now we're going to go through and we're going to fill in the remaining part. We do know one part. They tell us that C is 6 liters, don't they? If we were to read and reread, we would find that, um, um, there it is, A and B, they're in equal amounts and they should be mixed with six liters. So six liters, do you know how much A and B have? I don't know either. And when you don't know, that's, um, could be anything, a variable. Why don't we call it X? Let's put X right there. Equal amounts from A and B. So if A has X amount, then B also has X amount. So if we're going to find the percent of acid contributed to our final solution, um, we're going to take the percent concentration times the amount present, and that's going to give us our total contribution. So this is going to give me 0.2X. Now is it alright if I write it as 0.2, even though it's 20%? Yeah, because that zero is a placeholder and I can drop it at any time. So then there I go, I got 0.2. That makes this one 0.7x. And then this one times that one, put it there. That's 0.4 times 6. Sure. All right. And there's more that we need to put out. Our final solution needs to be 42% acid solution. This is, this is 42%. Great. We need to figure out the amount that's going to be in our final solution. For our solution. Here I see that I have this amount plus this amount plus this amount is going to be my total amount. Here it appears that I am going to have 2x plus 6. That's going to be the total liters of solution that I'm going to have. Well, all right. Fine. So then 42% of this amount is going to be my total. So this is 0.42 times 2x plus 6. Yeah. Awesome. Now how many um, variables do you see? I only see one. I see the x. So, how many equations do I need? I only need one. And some so I thought you might want to get up close and personal on the solution to this system. Here I'm looking at the last column. I'm looking at my contribution from 
A from B from C and that's gonna equal the total when we go and we add these things up so when I'm looking at this I'm looking at point two X plus point seven X plus point four times six is point two uh -huh, uh -huh, four two sure times two X plus six What's that giving me? That's giving me my um, contribution from A's and B's and C's. See, if we take the contribution from A and we add it to the contribution from B and we add it to the contribution of C and then that's going to equal the total, where did we get those? Those were from our contribution portions of our table? Sure. Let's go and gather, collect, and combine and simplify these expressions algebraically. Um. Point two and point seven. I think on a good day that gives me point nine x, and then four times six is twenty four. Then I move the decimal one, so that's plus two point four. Sure. Now here I'm looking at point four two because my final solution needs to be forty two percent acid HCl. This gonna be this gonna be point eight four x for sure. And then it goes. Ah, oh, geez, that's big. That's um two uh, carry a one. That's twenty four twenty five. Yeah, 2.52, and then it's addition. All right, I'm gonna go on with this new addition. I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Here I have X's on one side. No, I got X's on both sides. Want them on one side, which side, don't care. You want them to the left, to the left? Why well, you want them over there? Because your mind's bigger, sure. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna subtract off a point eight four x What you do on the one side, you must also do under the other. Point eight four x Very nice. And then I, I the difference is point zero six x and then that's going to be positive because the 0.9 is bigger than the 0.8. Great. And I'm still going to have 0.24 added to that. And then that's going to equal 2.52. Sure. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to subtract off that constant from each side. So then I subtract off 2.4. I subtract off 2.4. Sure. Line up those decimal places and then subtract them. And it turns out to me that I see that, uh, let's see. Can I take zero from two? No, that's two. There's um, one. Mm, yeah, and then, yeah, oh wow, positive, for sure. And then this is point zero six. Where'd the two come from? Over there? No, here. Six, yes. Six. Then I go and I divide both sides by point zero six. And then, x gonna turn out to be... Two, yes! So then squeezed down here, we find that x is 2. But what was x? x was the amount from A and B? Sure, they were in equal amounts. So we need 2 what? What was this measured in? Liters. 2 liters. <laughs> Yes. Two liters of the twenty percent solution and two liters of the seventy percent solution to be mixed with six liters of the forty percent solution to make a solution that is forty two percent HCL.